I'm gonna be honest, I really enjoy making motivational videos and quotes and my IG and TikTok feed is full of them. And for the voiceover, a lot of them are using AI tools like Eleven Maps, but a lot of them don't actually sound that good. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make something simple like this. To get what you've never had, you need to do what you've never done. Sound much better just like this. To get what you've never had, you need to do what you've never done. And I'm gonna cover everything from the voices to use, what settings, how to prompt, and then how to edit the voiceover to perfection once you've generated it. And by the way, as always, all the tools that I mentioned in this video are linked in order in the description down below. So let's begin. Who's gonna carry the phone? The first thing you need is your text. Here, you wanna make it simple, but use power words. If you're not a great script writer, just write the original message that you want to convey and then ask ChatGPT to spice it up. That's exactly what I did. The goal of the text here is to ignite the emotion or the motivation within the viewer. And this means that music and good editing isn't gonna fix it for you. So use ChatGPT. This was my before and after, including the prompt I used to get the final result. Once you've got your script, you want to head to 11 maps. First, you wanna choose what voice you want. And you've got a bunch to choose from, but here are some pointers. Consider the audience you are speaking to and the topic you are talking about. For gym content, you might prefer choosing a male voice because that's the voice that will resonate the most with the audience. For calm ASMR content, you might wanna choose a female voice instead. But at the end of the day, it is personal preference and artistic choice. However, if you're going for that motivational stuff that you see so frequently, I do recommend choosing a voice that sounds deeper, that has a little more boom to it. But if you don't actually choose a deep voice, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make the voice a little bit deeper and sound better if it is a little bit too high pitched, so it still slaps anyway. Now, the Adam preset is the one we hear the most. Allow the world to live as- So that's the one I'm gonna go with for this video, but I'm gonna share a list on screen right now of other voices that I think are good for motivational content. And I think all of them, by the way, need a little spicing up. The next thing you want to do is paste your text into the box right here. So this is my quote. And I know most people here, they will just go to the settings and they'll slightly adjust, they'll generate, and then they'll download and they think they're done. That is a mistake. If you truly wanna get the best voiceover, you actually need to generate your voice multiple times at different levels of stability and potentially with different prompts. And yes, it eats up more of your credits, but honestly, it's super worth it. And you'll understand why in just a second. Now I tend to do one at 100, one at 50, one at 25, and then one at zero. And you don't have to do all four, but doing this allows me to make something really great and unique. Now, I rarely touch the other settings, but if you do wanna know what they do, I'm gonna to link to another video at the end of this tutorial that shows you how to master 11 laps. And now, as well as the stability, we actually want to change the specific prompt. And I don't mean change the actual text that we've written or the chat GPT has written for us, but we want to add something to the prompt to give it a little bit more context. See, 11 labs reads your text, just like it would from a book. This means it uses the full context of the page and the story to generate the prompt and change the outcome. And so you'll notice that if I go into Premiere Pro, I've actually got six different voiceovers. The first four are the same prompt, but I've got 100% stability, 50, 25, and zero. But then these last two, if I go back into 11 labs, and I click on more, you can actually see at the end, I put he said with despair, he said motivationally, and then the four first ones have all got, he said, inspiringly at the beginning. And I highly recommend trying this out because it makes such a big difference. So remember, the last one was, he said, with despair. So if we go back to Premiere Pro, let's solo the first one. So this one is 100% stability with the prompt, he said, inspiring. Life. Now listen to this one. Life. That sounds like it's got a little bit more despair in it. And because we've reduced the stability, it's not always gonna be the same outcome. For example, this one, is the same prompt as the original, but with 0% stability. Life much. So it sounds very high pitched, I'm not a big life. fan. Life, much like Bitcoin. So I think that's great, but it sounds a little bit too monotone. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is go through and cut out all these specific sections from each track that I prefer best and mix them together. And what I like to do is just solo each track. Life and just find out which section I prefer. Life, life. So I don't like that one. Life. So I like this one, this one's my favorite. It's a little bit slower, it's got a little bit of mood to it. It sounds much better than the high pitched one here. Life, my So what I'm gonna do is just cut it. And now I'm gonna go through and basically choose every single section from all the tracks that I want. So this is gonna take a few minutes, but I'll be back in a second. And you're gonna have this part at the end of each prompt. He said inspiringly. But obviously you just wanna trim that off every single time. So now I've finished cutting, right, and choosing the sections through each different audio file that I prefer. And you'll notice that I've actually stayed just between the first three. This is because I found that the ones at zero stability were a little bit too unstable and too unique. There were a few sections from the last one that I liked, but I thought they sounded better in the first three versions. So I love it how I've got it. The only thing I'm gonna do is just make me pause here a little bit bigger for effect. Live. 
much like bit. There we go. Now I'm going to go through and put everything on the same line, just like so. And then I'm going to select everything else and delete it. And I'm just going to add a bit of background music so we get more of a feel and you'll get more of an idea. So first of all, I'm just going to tone this down by 12 decibels and we're just going to arrange our audio so it's perfectly timed. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs, but the true essence... Here I feel like we need a bit of a bigger break. It needs to be slower paced. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences... Again, a little bit of a bigger gap. ...experiences ups and downs, but the true essence... This gap I feel needs to be a little bit smaller. ...at all. It's about embracing each moment. Perfect. So now that I've got my audio and I don't want to make any more cuts or changes to it and it's perfectly timed, what I'm going to do is highlight it all and nest it so it is all one track. So I'm just going to call it voiceover from 11 Labs, name the nest. And now the first thing we're going to do is go to the audio track mixer and I'm going to add a parametric equalizer. So we're going to go to filter in EQ, parametric equalizer. We're going to open it up and this is where my sound engineering degree comes in handy. But essentially what we want to do is two things. First of all, we want to increase the low end just a little bit because it makes the voice sound a little bit fuller and boomier. Um, and to overdo this example, if I turn it all the way up, give it a listen. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs, but the true essence lies in the ability to... So as you can see, you can play around with that, but do it with headphones, but it makes the voice sound a little bit fuller and boomier. Then we want to go to the mid to high range frequencies. So not five, we're actually going to do four. And we want to make this a little bit smaller. And we want to find a section that brings up some of the um, higher frequencies to make the voice sound clearer, despite all of the noise and the background music going on. So take a listen at this. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs, but the true essence lies in the ability to hodl. And it's subtle, but it makes the voice sound clearer because it's standing out from all of the other frequencies, like from the background music. And what you could do, you could just take out the low end so it sounds like a, a phone. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences... If that's the aesthetic you're going for, you know? And then once we've done that, we're going to close the parametric equalizer. And what we can do is then go to effect controls. And then in effects, we just want to search for pitch. And then we're going to drag the pitch shifter into effects controls of the nest, click on edit, and here, we're actually just going to turn it down, let's just say one and then 500, sorry, 50 cents. And give this a listen. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs, but the true- So it's notable that I've just pitched it down now, but for someone that's seeing it for the first time on Instagram, they won't necessarily notice that it's been pitched down. Also, this is great if you do have another voice that you really like, but it sounded too high pitched. You can play around with this, you can get pretty crazy, but like, listen to this. <laughs> Obviously, that's way too much, but ability to huddle. you get the idea. But turning it down like one or two semitones, I think kind of between the two is best. To huddle through it all. It's about embracing each moment, knowing that perseverance. And that is a really good trick to get the voice to sound better, in my opinion. And now that I've adjusted the pitch, the last thing I want to do is I just want to click on the audio clip, right? And I'm going to click dialogue under essential sounds panel. And then we just want to enhance the speech ever so slightly, right? And I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. As you can see, it's now enhancing. And this is Premiere Pro that actually uses AI to make the audio sound better. And there's also a few other things that you can play around with here to make the voice even more unique. For example, sometimes I think adding a small amount of reverb is great. And while we wait for this to enhance, I've just opened a Discord community for creators. It's brand new. So if you want to come and chat, chill, share some of your work, link is down below. All right, so it's just about to finish enhancing. It's finished. Now let's take a listen. Life, much the amount of reverb is too crazy. But the true essence lies in... Now I'm going to turn it up by three. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs. But the true essence lies in the ability to... Okay. Take a listen to the original one again. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs. Now remember that and then watch this, but subscribe because I'm not coming back afterwards. Life, much like Bitcoin, experiences ups and downs, but the true essence lies in the ability to hodl through it all. It's about embracing each moment, knowing that perseverance through the fluctuations is where true strength, health, and wealth are found.